All right, this uh, video here, we're going to look at solving exponential equations. So you can see that we have uh, we have two, two to the two x minus one equals eight. Now what we want to do when we solve an exponential equation is we want to get the bases the same. Okay, the two here we have here we have two and an eight. Well. This 8 here, let's go ahead and write down 2 to the 2x minus 1 equals. Now, the 8, I can rewrite that as 2 to the third power because 2 to the third is 8. Well, look what I have now. I have like bases, the 2 and the 2. And the only way that these two can be equal is if the exponents are the same, if this exponent is equal to this exponent. So once I have the same base, I can set the exponents equal to each other. So I have 2x minus 1 equals 3, and now I just have a linear equation to solve. So I add the 1 to both sides, so I get 2x equals 4, divide by 2, x equal 2, and there's my answer. Let's take a look at another one. Here I have 9 raised to the absolute value of x equals 3. Well, I can rewrite 9 as 3 squared. So let's do that. I have 3 squared raised to the absolute value of x equals 3. See, all I did is I took the 9 and I rewrote it as 3 squared. So now, remember this, I multiply exponents. So I have 3 to the 2 times absolute value of x equals 3. Now, my bases are the same, so I can set the exponents equal to each other. And remember, this exponent here is understood to be a 1. So I've got 2 times the absolute value of x equals 1. Now, remember solving an absolute value equation, I need to isolate the absolute value. So I divide both sides by 2, so that gives me the absolute value of x equals 1 half. And then to solve the absolute value, I get x equals 1 half, or x equal negative 1 half. And there's my two answers. Okay, last one. One eighth equals four to the x. Well, let's see what I can do here if I can get this to be the same base. So, well, the one eighth I'm going to rewrite it as one over two to the third, and that equals. And the four I'm going to rewrite it as two squared, and then that's raised to the x. So now. I still don't have the same base, but because I, this is 1 over 2 to the third. Let me take this and move it back up here. Okay, so that's going to be 2, and remember we changed the sign of the exponent, 2 to the negative 3 equals, and then here I multiply exponents, so that's 2 to the 2x. So now my bases are the same. I can set the exponents equal, so that's negative 3 equals 2x. Divide both sides by 2, and I get x equals negative 3 halves. And there's my answer. And that's solving exponential equations.